Hi and welcome to this week's technique video. This week's all about dimension and how to create that wow factor creation using card, not foam pads and not silicon glue. We're going to create a scene card. It's very easy to do and once you get the idea behind the technique, you can take that technique across all your different themes. Are you ready? Okay, so this week I am using the promotion that we have on the fairies collection. And what a scene card does is you do have to start off with a frame. This is the most important thing. And then you have the tabs. Now, if I show you the template, if you're going for this week's promotion, you will get everything in there. And as you can see, we have got the actual frame there, which is a rectangle frame. And then you have the tabs that are there and these ones here. However, you don't need to actually have this template to get started. All you need to do is cut out a frame. And then the tabs, as you can see, they're evenly width. And what you need to do is score along the edge. Now, using the template, what I'm doing is I am scoring. Now, when you score, what's very important is that you use, well, you, I'm using the embossing tool. And what you need to remember is you've got different thicknesses on either side. Now, the top tip is always use the same thickness. I tend to use, for something like this, I tend to use a smaller one because I'm not then giving the mill onto that. And what I mean by that is if you try, there's two different, in this actual template, you're going to need two of these. So I'm going to score along those lines and I'm using my Fiskars trimmer um, but I'm using a score tool as well. You can use an embossing board if you want or any other type of score implement. And as you can see, it's put the score lines on and all I'm doing is folding into place. And if you remember, Debbie Moore gives you more and we've got an M there. And you need to do that twice because you'll end up with, remember, when the template, you'll need two of the large ones and then you will need the smaller ones. And these are what gives you the dimension. So you are almost going to do a, a decoupage technique, a uh, dimensional decoupage technique using tabs instead of foam pads. Then I've cut out all these little tabs and I've already pre-scored them. And remember, you've got the score lines already if you're using the template. And I'm just folding them into place to make little M's like so. And this is what gives you that mechanism. And I'm just going to fold it like so, all of them. Now you'll probably not use them all, but it's better to have more than less. And you can create these because all it is is a strip of card. And it's important to use card on this occasion. And then you score it evenly to create almost a spring-like technique. And I love this because it goes completely flat into an envelope. So you don't need to worry about that. So I'm using, as I said, the fairies card kit because I just love this. Beautiful colorways. And you're always going to start off with a base. So there is my base already cut out and then your frame. Now in the kit, you will have the strips. So you need to make sure you use some adhesive. I'm using some three in one glue. I find it easier to use glue because it gives you a little bit of wiggle room to make sure you've got it on straight. So I'm wiggling it into place like so. There you go. And then it fits in place. And I'm gonna do the same with that. Make sure I've got it where I'm having it. And as you can see, that's going to sit on here. But normally you would use foam pads or something like this. And this is where the springs come in. What you're going to do is with the top section, okay, you're going to use the smaller ones. And then with a the larger section, as you can see, there isn't a wrong or right way. If you want to start up there, you can, depending on the weight. And what I mean by that, you'll see as I go along. So this is going to sit like so. Then these little ones are going to sit there. And that one's going to sit there. And then you're going to stick your frame on top. And this will give you that spring-like feel. So remember, I tend to use glue. You can use double-sided tape if you want to. I just find it so much easier and quicker. So just make sure that when you are putting your side little tabs on, that you use it up to the score line, otherwise it won't fold correctly. So I'm going to do that on that bit. Can you see how quickly it's coming together? Once you've cut out all the elements, you can create these beautiful dimensional cards in no time, because all I'm doing is using them as tabs, like so. So once you've got them, make sure these are on straight as well. Once you've got them in place, you then put your adhesive on the top like so. As you can see, it's 
very simple once you've actually got the first one on and then what I'm going to do let's make sure I move that one up a little bit is get my frame on top that lines up to that one it doesn't have to be exact because you can wiggle it into place like so I think I need to put a little bit more adhesive on that other one so that's going to go there wiggle it so you've got it all in place there we go I'm just going to just push that in place so you can now see that this tab is coming together beautifully now what I need to now do is do the next step so that is showing you the tabs in place and then you will have extra elements so depending what you want to you can have that flat if you want but the idea behind it is the dimension that you are going to have now at this point you need to decide where you want to put your main feature so this is my fairy I'm just going to bend her wings up a little bit more just to give a little bit more dimension and as I said this is using the promotion of this week but before I put her on there I want this section on here so yet again remember you've got all these springs the idea behind it is in when it comes to it it gives you that depth and if you want it a little bit more flattened or should say a little bit not so springy use your bone folder reinforce those lines like so and it actually brings it back down so I'm doing that because I'm going to put that on the front and yet again you do exactly the same thing you put adhesive on so I'm putting the adhesive on then I've got my little tab there like so and then I'm going to do the same on that side I mean it does take a little bit longer uh, to put together than a normal card but the, the actual dimension that you're going to create with this is amazing and you know we're using this card kit that's already been designed for this but you can take this idea and use it with everything all your different themes so there is the top bit and it makes it look like the fairy is jumping out now I'm going to now put her on and that goes on that first now you could put another spring on if you want but I'm not going to because I want to put that on there and then I have a top spring then she's going to go on here now this is where you can even have more depth so what I'm going to do instead of foam pads I'm using my springs and I'm just going to put a spring on here for the fairy and then another one there as I said there isn't a right or wrong way but what you need to make sure you do is make sure you have it equal for the balance turn that over there it goes make sure you have it nice and flat and then it pops up like so so she is now popping out of those flowers and then the next section that I'm going to do is this bit here so yet again make sure I've got it equally now if you remember if you want it a bit flatter you use your bone folder reinforce those lines and we're going to just do another one on here for the front of it and you can see how it's coming beautifully together the trick is to decide where you want your dimension all the time so this one's going to go on here and last but not least my top part of the flowers and it looks like the fairy is popping out from this lovely enchanted flora underground like so there we go and then let her jump out and we finish off with a congratulations just there so look at that everybody look at the dimension I've created it stands up it's a beautiful card you can go completely flat into an envelope if you want dead easy to do so that's the one using the fairy collection that is on promotion but you can create using journey to wonderland you've got all this amazing dimension that you can create stands up as well so you've got that one and i've done one a scene card using the floral boutique you know you can go to town with these everybody so once you get the idea really have a go because there's so much dimension that it will give and then you can take the technique and make the smaller lovely little scene cards to do so I hope you've all enjoyed that it's something different and it gives that wow finish so have a go and happy crafting <laughs>